Esther, what are you doing here? I'm actually going out to dinner with Lewis and Donna. Well, thanks for the invitation, but that's the last thing in the world I want to do right now. That's not why I'm here. I was thinking about what you said about why I called you first, and then about how you handled it. And I thought, maybe you might want to take me out this weekend. Esther, what do you think's going on between us? I don't know, I just... You don't know? Well, I'll tell you. We had a moment, it was nice, but I'm not interested in sneaking around. Who said anything about sneaking around? I did, and you just got divorced, and you're a mother of two, and I'm not gonna be the reason that- That what? That nothing. Why don't you just go out to your dinner? Harvey, tell me what's going on. What's going on is you asked me out and I said no, so please, just leave me alone. Harvey- I said leave me alone. To make the reservation at Sourbeth's. For the seventh time, yes. And why was it so important that it be there anyway? Because their muffins are 10 times better than Esther's, and I just wanted her to know it. I thought you two made progress. Well, she's still my sister. I, mean, I can't let her think that she's the best at something. OK. Hey. W what's wrong? You look upset. Uh, nothing's wrong. I I'm just not feeling very well. It looks like tonight's not a good night after all. Well, no, 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 no. You're upset. It's not that, Lewis. I just don't feel well. Please, let's just reschedule. I'm gonna just call the restaurant and- Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. She came all the way down here just to cancel? I don't know, Lewis. I mean, maybe she was already on her way over here and- Did she just come from Harvey's office? Because that's the direction she came from, not the elevators. I don't know, Lewis. What do you want me to say? I don't know. It is exactly what you said when I asked you if you thought there was anything going on between Harvey and Esther, and now you're saying it again. But you're telling and you know everything. I'm sorry, Lewis. I do know. What are you going to do? None of your business. Stay out of it. You've done enough. You and I are going to have a talk right now. Okay, whatever it is, it can wait. I need to tell you something. Does that have something to do with why my sister just left here, too upset to go out to dinner? You piece of shit, I knew it. What'd you do to her now? I didn't do anything to her, Lewis. And when I say now, I mean as opposed to before, when you slept with her. That's right. Donna, the one you tried to steal from me at dinner the other night, told me. Calm you, down, I didn't try to steal anything. You made a promise to me! And even after I told you about when Esther and I were kids and the boys used me to get to her, you still went ahead and betrayed me. Lewis, it had already happened. And I was just now about to tell you. Bullshit, you were never gonna tell me. You were gonna keep it to yourself to the day you die. Lewis, you have to believe me. I swear, I was just about to tell what you. What you're about to do is get your ass kicked. All right, watch yourself. Don't threaten something you can't handle. You don't think I can handle you? You also thought I was too stupid to find out, but I did find out. I found out that you're nothing but a lying, cheating. I didn't cheat with Esther. It was two grown people making a goddamn decision for themselves. Well, that decision ended with her walking out of here near tears because she didn't have all the facts, like the fact that you're a serial womanizer who can't stand when anyone else Shut has the anyone. hell up! So he takes whatever woman's in sight. I'm telling because you. Because he's so messed up from whatever goddamn thing happened to him in his pathetic childhood. Shut can't. the hell up! He can't! <laughs> Get away from me.